So let's go take a look at what we can do with a combination of Copilot Studio plus some Dataverse tables and adding that in as knowledge using Copilot Studio's new knowledge feature that was released at Build in 2024. So you'll notice that this is just basically a blank Copilot as it sits right now. And I've just went in and uh, created one as an empty Copilot. And you'll see I haven't even added any descriptions or details or anything, just giving it a name uh, up here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit Add Knowledge. And when I want to hit Add Knowledge, I can add it here. I'll also show you that you can also click on the Knowledge tab and click Add Knowledge. And you'll see here that we can come in and add some Dataverse tables. So once I select, I can come in and select uh, like account and let's also add contact. Um, and we'll go ahead and select next. You'll notice here that I selected both account and contact, both of which are returning data. And you can see a, just a, a quick view to make sure that data is actually coming in here. Then I'm gonna come in and hit add um, to it. And you'll notice that we have a knowledge name now, and you can see that it's called contact and account. You can also see a knowledge description. Now this is really important because this is a place where you can customize what you want this to be called. It can also provide a model description to talk about what kind of data is being used inside of this. So just be aware that this is a place where you're going to be able to really tune it to be able to get what you want and be able to explain what kind of data and what is stored in your tables inside of Dataverse. Now, I'll also add that you'll see here that we have all these different uh, columns that were inside of the account table and you'll see something like category and such and you can provide a description here of what category is actually uh, storing inside of it so that that way the large language model understands the concept of what this is. You can also even come in and add synonyms in for what are other things that you might want to call this uh, so that that way you can explain different words or synonyms that uh, for what data is being stored in this particular column. So if category was also known as something else, you could, you could add it here. Uh, by just simply coming in. So like if I said subject um, is equal to category, I could just come in and had, add that and hit done. You can see that it's added it in. If I want to remove it, I can simply come in and delete it. Now, I'm going to go back and take a look at one last item, which is going to be the glossary. And then the glossary, this is where you can define your own custom terms. So if you want to define like a specific term that you use within your organization and that term means something specific or a definition of what that particular term is in natural language, this is where you can apply it. So that way, if that data source uses some sort of custom acronym or something like that, you can come in and actually define what that particular term means. So once we've done that, you can see here, we've got all the different information here. I'm gonna go ahead and click add. Now, once you've added a piece of knowledge in, sometimes, it, like if this is the first time you've ever added these columns into Copilot Studio or these tables into Copilot Studio rather, know that you may actually see that this is in a pending status for a period of time as Dataverse goes through and indexes all the content of those tables for you for Copilot Studio. But once we've got this in, what you now will be able to do is we'll be able to click over to Overview and test it. So let's go ahead and test this now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first go over and I'm just going to ask who is our largest account so we can go look that up in the account table and respond back. You'll see here that Litware seems to be our largest account. I'm going to ask about their address because I want to show you I can keep the context of the conversation going as we continue and have like a conversation with it. And you can see here's the address. Then I'm going to ask for the primary contact so that I can switch over to the contact table and kind of compare between the two and be able to find the primary contact for Litware. And you'll see that we got the answer for that, but we can even ask things such as like what's her job title and it's going to give us information out of the contact table about Susanna. So 
this is actually a very powerful for organizations to be able to do this. And now that Dataverse is just a first party citizen inside of Copilot Studio for knowledge, it makes it where you can build some really powerful implementations, especially if you have a lot of data stored inside of Dataverse. So I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more educational videos on Copilot Studio. And always, you can try Copilot Studio at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.